We're gonna make a small video on how to do a timing belt on a single cam Honda. Uh, this is a 96. Um, it's pretty much the same for all single cams that I'm aware of. I've done more uh, dual overhead cams like your B series. This is a D series. So, but they're really simple. Um, valve cover's already off. I already got the covers all off pretty much. And I already got it set on TDC, getting ready to take the belt off and take the water pump out and swap everything to new. But uh, ten, pretty much a 10 millimeter, uh, 12 millimeter, 14 and a 17. That's pretty much all the tools you'll need. Um, impact to take your balancer off. Um, or if you don't, then you're probably gonna need that special tool they make for Hondas and a big ratchet and a lot of luck. Um, 10 millimeter bolts hold your valve cover on. Um, spin it over TDC, it'll say up on your cam gear and then you'll have two lines, one there and then one over here. They'll be this way with your motor flat. And then uh, you're also your TDC mark will, will point straight up and it'll point on your timing cover. Right there that little line is, it'll point to that. And there's also a notch on the balancer. Um, started taking this all apart and then I realized I probably should have made a video of it, you know, in case anybody uh, needs some help with it. And also remember too, your dipstick, when you put that cover back on, make sure it has this clip. I've already seen these come in and then someone did a time belt and water pump on these and they forgot to put this clip back in. And then this uh, dipstick tube can rattle out and then you'll start losing oil, a good amount of it, because that'll be, you know, like a three eighths hole directly out of your block where your oil pan is and you'll have a massive leak and if you don't see it right away, you could ruin your motor. Um, happened to this well, one guy, he bought this car, something about that, uh, somebody did a time about water pump on it, brought it into the shop and uh, that clip was missing and he kept driving it and he took the motor out. So just make sure that clip's back in. So I got the belt off guys. Um, it's a 14 millimeter for the tensioner bolt. If you have any of these stepped uh, wrenches, they work really well. Um, right down here, it'll zoom in. Is your tensioner, is your bolt. Make sure it's on all the way because these bolts, they're uh, shallow. They're shallow, they're not as deep. You'll, you'll round it real easy. Then take the uh, spring off of here. Spring goes from the uh, tensioner up to there. That sets your preload. Um, and this is why you, you know you change these belts every ninety thousand miles. I think that's what Honda says. At least every hundred or earlier, if you're really hard on your vehicle. I think this is the original belt. I thought maybe the one of the previous owners had it done by like a Honda dealer because it still had a Honda belt on it. It's got a Honda water pump still, but this belt is starting to break. Look at that. This is, that's why you need to do your belts, guys. You get one of these cars and you don't know if it was done by the previous owner, at least pull the cover off and double check, or just at least just get a belt and put a belt, a belt in it, or buy the whole kit, it's not much, but that'll save your motor. Um, they're interference motors, so usually when this belt breaks, you'll bend some valves. I've seen it though. Sometimes people have gotten lucky. I know when he used to come into the shop when I worked there, um, if it broke a belt, we would just throw a belt on it real quick. Retime it, throw a belt on it, and see if it would start. I mean, we have one, it fired up and it ran perfect. But that's, you know, that's nine times out of 10, it bends some valves. They got lucky. I mean, I've seen it go both ways, so. Thought I'd show you that. So I'm gonna pull the water pump now. They're all 10 millimeter bolts. And we'll get a new water pump in there and new tensioner on and put the new belt on and good to go. So 
So I got the water pump out. I said earlier, um, all 10 millimeter bolts. I'm just used to B-series. It's, uh, it's got 10 millimeter bolts and then one 14. So get that all off, get it all cleaned up, take a razor blade around it, make sure the surface is clean, a little bit of brake clean. And then I always put a little, just a little bit of RTV around it. I didn't smooth that out yet. I'll probably take some of that off. You don't need a lot. Some people don't put anything on there. Um, I just do it for extra precaution. I don't, I don't feel like doing the job and then it leaks. So I just put a little, little extra on there just, just to be safe. I don't think it hurts anything. Some people, you know, they're against it, but whatever. You do what you want and that's that simple. All right, put it back in. All right, got the water pump back in, all the bolts tightened up. Tensioner's on. When you put the tensioner on, the bottom here, there's a pin. Make sure that the tensioner is in that pin. So when this goes up and down, it has something to uh, pivot off of. So now, marks are still lined up. The can didn't move, the crank didn't move. So we'll uh, put the belt on with the bottom pulley and then wrap it around and get it on the tensioner. Once it's on the tensioner, then you uh, put that spring in and that'll pull in the tensioner and set your tension. And then uh, we'll rotate the engine backwards. You'll see it when you do it, the spring will actually pull up on the tensioner more. Once you go backwards a little bit and it pulls up, and when you keep spinning it backwards and it won't move no more, that, that's as much tension as you need on the belt. Tighten your 14 up and your belt's set. And then put all your covers back on and alternator belt and power steering belt, valve cover, valve cover gasket, and it's good to go. Wish I had a prop here. I'd prop this up to show you guys putting the belt on at least. I mean, I could try to get this, see if I can get this to stay up somehow. It was easier doing the back. I have a stand, but I forgot to bring it. Well, you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Don't worry about where the belt is yet. Just get this belt around this. Okay. in there bring this up through here Mm -hmm. 
had it around the bottom as a crank. So now we're gonna bring it around this side of the tensioner and then the bottom side of the water pump. And the camera move, great. Okay, let's see if we're on here. All right, see we got the bottom on and it's between the sensor and the uh, crank pulley. We got it wrapped around the tensioner, it's on the water pump. Make sure it's in all the grooves and then you should be able to walk the belt on it should slide right on you shouldn't be you shouldn't fight it at all sorry about this camera guys i'm just trying to get this so you can at least see the belt going on so if this is on see that's right there this will just slide right on it might take a little bit you know this is a new belt it's not stretched out or nothing can't get it go back and look at everything make sure that you have everything where it's supposed to be there you go belts on that's set so now we got to get the spring on man then double check your marks Hard to see with this. It says up. There's your two lines. Crank didn't move. So you know you're good. So now we'll, uh, you gotta get the spring in down here. And if you see that hole right by those numbers. All right, I got the uh, spring back on. What works really good, guys, is uh long needle nose so that's what i did got that back on so and then i slid the balancer back on you don't need to tighten it yet just slide it back on and then i'll show you what you do you can just use your hand for the most part but you'll see this all right watch that spring there see how that loosens up and right there. So you wanna go the way that it pulls the belt tight. So now that that's tight, this is now tight. So just pull as tight as you can and then you can lock it up. Um, you can put the uh, bolt in the crank too and then rotate it uh, like a full time around, make sure it's tight and then uh, you can also double check your timing marks then after you do that. All right, this timing belt's done. Put it back together. Uh, new tie, uh, valve cover gasket. Good to go. So I know it ain't the best video, but at least I figured I'd show you guys a couple of close-up details, like doing the spring and the water pump and stuff, doing the belt. Um, there's probably other videos on YouTube that are more in depth. If you need that, um, just search it. I, like I said, I haven't searched, so I have no clue. So I'm just trying to show you as much as I can, holding the camera and doing it. It's kind of hard. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We've got some more content coming. Uh, Robin's Built Garage. Thank you, guys. Here it is guys, time belt water pump all done. Leaving the corner right now. Nice and quiet, no leaks. Ready to go back to the customer. <laughs>